திரு ஆனந்த் சீனிவாசன் அவர்களின் சாதாரண பங்கு அசாதாரண லாபம் தமிழ் வடிவம் இப்போது கிண்டிலில் கிடைக்கிறது இந்த புத்தகம் புதிய முதலீட்டாளர்களுக்கு பங்கு சந்தை பற்றிய ஒரு அறிமுகமாக இருக்கும் இந்த புத்தகத்தை நீங்கள் கிண்டிலில் வாங்க விரும்பினால் வீடியோவின் கீழே இருக்கும் லிங்கை கிளிக் செய்யுங்கள் Today I want to talk about the indicators that are flashing red in the Indian economy. I do not agree and I completely agree with Ratin Roy that these are not indicators that one should see for real Indians. But if I see the real indicators, the situation will be far worse. Let us go by what the Royal Street goes by. The auto sales is a key indicator. for the state of the indian economy according to dalal street and right wing economists but and it was always been touted as a sign of a resurgent and revival of indian economy well the covid pandemic over the last 16 months has taken a heavy toll on the indian automobile sector today all automobile sectors are forced to have a lockdown for at least 2 to 3 weeks they have now brought forward their annual maintenance and are working on their machines the truth is that there is no sales except companies which are exporting in big numbers the sales are completely locked down there are 26000 dealerships for all sorts of vehicles including two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers commercials and auto and uh, even farm equipment of these 26000 dealers nearly 21000 dealers are locked down several thousand dealers have gone out of business even before the pandemic struck last year the total sales dropped to levels below 2013 that what has happened is one bad year and negligence from the central government has made sure our automobile sales has gone back 8 years this means we have lost a decade in automobile sales and yet all of us are talking about growth of the two main parameters we talk about is air traffic growth and automobile growth if neither automobiles are growing are diesel rating at 30% and planes are not flying to capacity then how can we grow economically is something which people need to ask but as of today the automobile industry is badly affected last year the only bright spot was sale of farm equipment vehicles this is an euphemism for tractors only tractors did well and that is what saved mahindra and mahindra last year but today in april it says that tractor sales had dropped by 40% even if we have a normal monsoon in the hindi heartland of up madhya pradesh bihar chatisgarh the virus has spread and horror stories are coming from rural india this means that farm tractor sales in rest of india is going to be badly affected for the first 6 months there is no chance of a revival if the pandemic means that supply chains are completely disrupted then automobile manufacturing itself will become a big problem because automobile manufacturing requires movement of minute parts from various parts of the country to the factory just in time so that they can make a fully ready bike also there is another problem which came out of the rbi books yesterday the total amount of loans given by the commercial banks grew only by 5.6% while deposits grew by more than 11% and also today economic times says that banks are unwilling to lend to retail especially unsecured debt and auto is considered an unsecured debt so if banks are not willing to lend and nbfcs expect that their collections will get badly hit by the second wave of the pandemic then auto loans are proving difficult to find this is what my friend who has a hyundai dealership in rural tamil nadu has told me that there are even where people who are willing to buy banks are not willing to fund even contractors of government are not getting funding from banks to buy cars this has made it very difficult because uh, the car industry or the bike industry is heavily capital intensive the end user needs finance to either buy a bike car or a farm equipment the dealer needs finance from wholesale lease fleet borrowers lenders to buy material from the manufacturer the manufacturer supplies the material discounts the bill immediately and the dealer pays off the financier every time he sells a vehicle so this industry 
is heavily dependent on organized finance. If finance dries up, automatically sales will drop. This is also one of the contributing factor for drop of sales. Also, till last month, manufacturers have been dumping stocks on dealers and showing increased sales or slightly muted decline. The registration numbers on the Vahan site, which gives you an indication of where how many bikes have been registered or how many commercial vehicles have been registered or cars registered shows this decline. This decline is across all sectors and there is no bright spot. What is most badly affected is sale of commercial vehicles and tractor sales. Tractor sales is at half of what was there last year this time. This is because the pandemic has badly affected the villages and dealerships are not yet opened and people are not coming forward to buy tractors. This means that the rural economy has been affected badly. In the first wave of the COVID pandemic, the rural India or Bharat as we know it was largely spared and this was not impacted. And since rural India was not impacted, it contributed to sales in automobiles, especially two-wheelers and uh, farm equipment and also consumed discretionary consumer products for FMCG. But all that is set to change with the second wave of pandemic. The government not declaring lockdowns. Villagers have formed committees to lock down their villages and minimize contact with outsiders. FMCG people are telling us that distributors are finding it difficult to set up manpower teams to come and deliver goods to the villages. And even if they are willing to deliver, the shopkeepers are telling the distributors to leave the goods outside the area, administrative area of the village, and they will go pick it up. This has meant perishables such as ice creams and cool drinks are not selling in numbers in what they used to say. And dealers have said in semi-urban areas that there is no walk-ins. People are scared to leave their homes and come to walk-in. So unless the things situation improves, India is staring at another bad year when we could even go back further in our automobile development. It is high time that the government announces a stimulus aimed at rural India instead of acting as if things are normal. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.